Joining us tonight, Judicial Watch President Tom Fitton. Tom, great to have you with us. Hey, Lou. I, I, let's, I want to, if you will, you know this, but I, I just want to make sure that our audience uh, is aware of what Sarah Sanders had to say today in her own words about uh, the upcoming Mueller report. I don't think it is going to be damaging to the president because the entire purpose of the investigation was whether or not there was collusion. Mueller was crystal clear in the fact that there was no collusion. We consider this to be case closed. And that was obviously yesterday. Uh, your thoughts? Is she right? Case closed? Well, certainly for uh, everyday Americans who understand that there is no collusion, and uh, so the Mueller report will confirm that. There will be material in there placed by anti-Trump activists on Mueller's team uh, to try to smear the president and suggest misconduct on obstruction. Well, wait uh, a minute. The attorney was, let me interrupt you there. I thought that that wasn't supposed to happen. If there's no charge, there's not going to be any of this salacious, uh, ignorant uh, uh, posturing on the part of the radical left on that team of, what is it, 13 to 18 angry Democrats? Why is that being permitted by the attorney general? Well, I don't understand why. I never thought there should have been, quote, a Mueller report. Either there were no indictments or there were indictments, and we didn't need an explanation one way or another. An op-ed from uh, anti-Trump activists about the president's conduct as president in firing James Comey, over which he did the national, the, uh, he, he did a Hall of America favor in firing James Comey. Absolutely. Uh, so the idea that the Justice Department would come in and second guess his personnel decision uh, is beyond their powers as Justice Department bureaucrats and attorneys. Uh, so, I, you know, the AG, frankly, uh, should have never allowed them to begin putting pen to paper there. That being said, the overwhelming evidence is there was no obstruction. Obviously, if they could have made the case, they would have. And the big news here is that the Russia hoax has been exposed. Uh, the deep state coup cabal is uh, has has to focus on something else now, like uh, you mentioned the taxes. Can you uh, believe that, by the way? Is that not the most idiotic thing you've ever heard of? There's no requirement by law that the president uh, divulge his taxes. Uh, he basically told everybody to go to hell when he was uh, campaigning. Uh, why should it, the answer be any different now? This would be an unprecedented abuse of the IRS uh, by uh, Congress to target a president. And it's nothing like this has well, ever happened it. before. And uh, this, this is shows that the president has been under siege. You know, we, we, should, we have to thank the stars that the Mueller operation is over uh, because yeah. the president has been under a siege. The presidency's been under siege. Our republic's been under siege for two years, uh, despite Mueller and his operatives knowing for at least a year that there was no Russia collusion, yet they allowed this to continue to fester uh, to make the president look bad. Uh, there's going to have to be not only accountability for how the Mueller operation began, but how it operated. Yeah, how it operated, uh, and that obviously uh, that itself is not yet part of the investigation, but certainly it is uh, a, a focal point now of the uh, Office of Inspector General at the Justice Department to focus on how uh, this all began in the first place. That, uh, we expect that report, what, in the next 60 days, that uh, is going to be, to me at least, uh, the far more interesting report. I think it will be, but remember, it will be more narrowly focused, at least as, that's what we are led to believe on the FISA warrant applications, the shady yeah. applications that Mueller, by the way, benefited from and used. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, the attorney general has got to take a broader view as to what went on. Remember, the FISA warrants were only one aspect of the, uh, the spy campaign against President Trump. Right. It included leaks. It included political bias by Strzok, Page, McCabe, et cetera. And, of course, they were trying to entrap the Trump team by uh, launching spies against the yeah. Trump campaign. Never in American history has there been such a, a spy effort against a candidate and abuse of power by an administration targeting its political opposition. Yeah. Never before, not Nixon, not Johnson, never before. And Barack Obama, this is his legacy, this corruption. Uh, and uh, hopefully he uh, and his administration will be the focal point of a much more uh, significant and enduring investigation than uh, has plagued this president uh, innocent throughout. None of it would have happened but for Barack Obama's permission and uh, 
right. look, he, he condoned it. He certainly was running it out of the White House. The text messages show that. And the big dossier meeting just before President Trump was inaugurated included yeah. Obama, Biden, Susan Rice, James Comey. I like to see those four come under oath and yeah. answer, answer some questions about what they knew and when about this false well, dossier. Yeah, I just want to see the, uh, the investigative conclusion uh, with those four people centrally prominent in it all. Uh, I'll even pass on uh, having to decide whether at this time they chose to tell the truth. Tom Fitton, thanks so much. Appreciate You're it welcome. as always. Thank you, Good to see you.